It could be a big summer of transition for Real Madrid. Ali Moreno alongside me to take me through who he thinks will be at the Bernabeu at the start mm -hmm. of the season and who could be elsewhere. Let's start with Thibaut Courtois. If you had asked me this at the end of last year, I would have said, you know, get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just not working. It really should never have come into this team because you didn't need a goalkeeper. No. However, I would say that for the most part this year, he's been pretty good. He set the bar low though, didn't he? Uh, well, I know that. I, I didn't say he was great. I said he's been pretty good. Mm. And I wouldn't make the mistake again of going chasing a goalkeeper when you have one in place. Yeah. And you need a lot of other things. Correct. And so okay. I'm going to say Thibaut Courtois, there's needs everywhere else on the field. Thibaut Courtois stays. Sergio Ramos, flirted with China, of course, mm -hmm. before. Yeah, but come on, man. Yep. Easy. It's it, it, it Sergio Ramos. I don't think he's going anywhere. Yeah. Or anything. Varane easy as well. Easy as well. Yeah. I don't think there's a choice there to be made by either by either Varane or yeah. Real Madrid for that matter. Now Tony Cruz. Mm -hmm. See, now you started making decisions. Didn't start in the City game, did he, in that first leg? Yep. Yeah. And and that sends a message. Right. It gives you an idea where yeah. you are in the pecking order and as to who but you then are. Then playing against Barca was better. I think Tony Cruz stays, and, right. and the reason that he stays is because. This guy goes. Yes. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah? So you, you got to have some balance. If, if yeah. Tony Cruz is going to stay, then yeah. Rigamonte is going to go. And the reason he's going to go is because he's getting older. And he has become kind of a part-time player for sure. Real Madrid. And how quickly he went from being the Ballon d'Or winner to yeah. being a part-time player for Real Madrid. The transition has been quick. The slide has been quick. And I think he's going to be out of Real Madrid soon. What about against Gareth? I mean, he's been gone forever, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. There's no chance it can possibly keep him again through the I summer. Who's going to pay his wages for, is, for a guy who's played, what, a dozen games? And who's not getting any younger. No. And whose fitness in, in, in terms of staying healthy ha yeah. has been a question and continues to be a question. See, that's still going to be there. Yeah. He's not going to play. At some point, th there's got to be a love of playing. I don't know, Ali. If there was a love of playing, he would have gone two years ago. Are you trying to convince me that he's going to stay then? I, I was leaning, I, at some point he's got to go. I just don't know where he's going to go. Well, that's, that's fair enough, but I, I, at some point he's got to say, you know what, it was fun when I played. You know, when I was a little kid, I didn't play this for the millions and millions and millions of dollars. I played this because... But that's changed now, surely. He's going. I'm he's gone? gone. <laughs> You're trying to lead me this way. I think he's got to go. One guy who's really struggled to make any sort of impact since that move from Germany, Luka Jovic. Yeah, but he has struggled, and, and yet you feel that the struggles come from the fact that this is not a team that creates a whole lot of chances, and this is not a guy that is going to turn on people and go after people right. and, and score a bunch of goals unless those chances are created for him. You know what? I, uh, he goes, yeah. but, it, but it's a tough decision. James Rodriguez, oh. same camp as Bale, pretty much. Yeah. I, I don't even know what to tell you about James Rodriguez. Yeah. You know, when they... Oh, of course, we know that James Rodriguez is in Real Madrid, but when they put this list together and you're going through the names, like, yeah. oh, James Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he on loan somewhere? Yeah, where where is he coming? Yeah, it's true. Uh, Ishko, obviously rejuvenated over the last few months. And he was left for dead for a while. Completely. He was in the, almost the Bale camp, yeah. the Bale James camp. And, and, and somehow, yeah. he's like, hey, yeah. I'm here, guys. And not only I'm here, guys are playing well. And I think what, what may have happened here is that him and Zidane had a, had a conversation of some sure. sort in which you said, okay, either you do what, you, what I ask you to do or you're going to be in that camp. Sure. You want to be in that camp? No, sir, he doesn't. And he, he's done fairly well for Real Madrid this season. Uh, Benzema? I mean, he is Zidane's boy. Isn't yeah, he? yeah. He's, and rightly so. He's, yeah, he's arguably well, the best player this season. If, if you were to pick out a player for Real Madrid that you say, you know what, he's had a great season, it would be Karim Benzema. Yeah. The other one, uh, it's been up and down, but sure. Benzema has been the most yeah. consistent And player. not for the first season either. No, no, it's friend. been for the last couple of seasons, yeah. All right, Ali, thank you very much. Be interested to see all, how that all plays out over the next few months in the Spanish capital. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.